Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Police Quest 1 VGA. And we left off, we're about to go into our locker. Just as you start to enter your combination, you realize with panic that you've completely forgotten your locker combination. Damn, this happens every time. Yep, for some reason, Sonny Bonds always forgets his combination. Then you remember reading your combination somewhere recently. That's it, you saw it in the Gazette. Your combination is the same as the final score in the Grunter Sow's final playoff game. Yeah, this is uh, copy protection. You're supposed to uh, look in the manual to get the answer to that question. So the score was 26 to 9. Or as I like to think of this combination, 269. Two is always better than one. So yeah, and we're gonna have to enter that combination every time. Fun stuff. So it's your trusty blue uniform and patrol belt. It's your towel. You may want to think about taking it home and washing it someday. That's pleasant. It's your ticket book and pin. These are the keys to your Camaro. This is your departmental issue PR24 nightstick. Alright, lots of good stuff in here. Well, might as well change into our uniform. Oh, regulations state you must take a shower before changing into your uniform. Yep, we're gonna have to. You get the towel and put it on. You are raised to be modest. You hang up your street duds. Yep, we gotta go take a shower with Morris before we can uh, continue the game. And I like how the the little walk icon changes depending on what you're wearing. So let's go take a shower. Mm-hmm. Yes, we're learning real police procedures with this game. Yes, sir. Back to the locker. And of course we have to enter our combination again. Oops. There it is. Now we can change into our clothes. You change into your trusty blue uniform. You place the towel back in the locker and hope it doesn't grow mildew. Yeah. Mm. And we can take the ticket book, the key. You don't need the keys yet, but might as well grab them while we're here. And the nightstick. Alright, and once again, walk icon. There's our little mini-me. Now it's dressed in a police uniform. And we can get a couple more things out here. The radios provide communication with the station when you're away from the car radio or you're patrolling on foot. The board holds keys to the department's cars. Yep, we're going to want to take a radio and a set of police car keys. And then we can go to the briefing room. You can see the chalkboard says briefing at 10 o'clock. Pay attention, it won't be important later. The bulletin board has the usual array of mugshots and group activity announcements. Hey, is that Sergeant Dooley's mother? Sergeant Dooley is our boss. The award-winning Light and Tribune. Ah oh, yes, let's read the paper. You pick up the paper and scan the leading stories. Light and Crime Rate Grows with City by Ben Bulwer, Light and Journalist. By the way, uh, Bulwer Lighten is a sort of reference. There's an author with that uh, last name. You can look him up on Wikipedia. Anyway, here's a new story. In the past several years, the city of Lighten has grown in every way. Industry, employment, and population are booming. This once little town is now a thriving city. Unfortunately, every thriving being has its parasites. 
Leighton is now plagued with violent crimes such as muggings and drive-by shootings. Vandalism is running rampant. Leighton teenagers are no longer spending their time at the mall in the arcade. Yeah, uh, it was 1992. They are turning to more destructive pastimes. Just last night, three of Leighton's young people were arrested for DUI. Most disturbing, perhaps, is Leighton's newest nemesis, the drug trade. The problem no longer consists of kids buying marijuana from each other in the park. The amount of drug-related violence has almost doubled in the past five years. There have been recent rumors about a ruthless drug lord known as the Death Angel. And you, if you were paying attention earlier, you might have noticed the subtitle of this game is called In Pursuit of the Death Angel. So that's a... Uh, Oh, that's significant. Mmm, yes. See crime, page 8. Rats, someone tore out page 8. But another story catches your eye. Officers nominated for award. Lighton Police Chief Randolph Whipplestick has announced the nomination of Officer Sonny Bonds and Officer Joe Morgan for the coveted Officer of the Year Award. Both men have shown outstanding. See officers, page 8. Yeah, there's that missing page 8 again. Pleased and more than a little embarrassed, you put the paper back where you got it. You can't help grinning. Alright. You close the paper, still grinning. I wonder if we're grinning. And now people are going to start coming in for the briefing. And again, like the locker room. The original let you go talk to these guys. But these guys pretty much ignore you except the last one. Hey Sonny, you better grab your seat before Dooley chews up your can. And when you get that message, you automatically get sent to your seat. And here's uh, Sergeant Dooley. The little portrait they have for him makes him look like a total geek, so that's the voice I'm going to use for him. Uh, good morning, boys and girls. I trust you all had fun this weekend. I hope you didn't do anything I wouldn't do, ha ha ha. Okay, it's time to get serious. Sergeant Dooley clears his throat and goes over the daily hot sheet of stolen vehicles. Keep a special lookout for a black 1983 Mercedes-Benz, license LOP123VIN, blah blah blah. This vehicle was reported stolen last week. We suspect it may be drug related. Speaking of drugs, be sure to contact any and all informants who may know something about current developments in local drug trafficking. Control people. This problem is out of hand, people. Three more teenagers were arrested last night for drunk driving. Two of them were in possession of cocaine and all three of them tested positive for it. That's pretty grim news, team. We're not doing our jobs. We all have to work together on this before it's too late. Let's get out there and clean things up, boys and girls. And please, everybody be careful out there. This is a lot rougher crowd than we're used to dealing with in Little Old Lighten. We've got to get their numbers before they get ours. Oh, must be a touchdown or something. Speaking of numbers, Bonds, your new call number is 8332. And don't let that newspaper article make your head swell. It would make too big of a target, ha ha ha. Okay, let's get moving. Remember, caution boys and girls, caution. And now we get to not do anything while we wait everyone, wait for everyone to leave the room. Yeah, they, they really didn't want us to interact with people in this game, apparently. All right, now let's check out these. These are pigeonholes for office mail. And I think there's something in here. Let's see, which one was it? Jack's pigeonhole has a message that reads, I shot the last sucker that nosed around in my pigeonhole. Oh, that Jack, what a card. Steve's pigeonhole has a stack of subpoenas. And I believe this one's ours. It's your pigeonhole. It looks like there's a handwritten note inside. Well, let's grab it. The handwritten note says, 
Sunny, how's about an 1198 at Carol's later in the shift? 1198 is police code for meeting. And that's from Steve. You discard the night note, smiling. You always look forward to chatting with Steve. I bet. But it's the end of our video. So I'll catch you next time. Bye.